Hey, welcome everybody. This is my first uh, Minecraft series. It's actually going to be modded Minecraft. Um, so we're running the 1710 pack, um, but it's 1710 pack plus because I've added a few other mods to the pack um, just because I really like them. So one is Minecraft Comes Alive, so we have better villagers. Um, the second one is Infernal Mobs to make the mobs that we face a lot tougher. Um, so here's the uh, Minecraft Comes Alive start get this out of the way with and continue and none of these all right and then um, we've also got um, the Lord of the Rings mod which is awesome and then the other thing we have is the underground biomes mod which changes a lot of the stone to be different types of stone um, as you can probably see up there it's not just regular stone so we're gonna get started here really fast I'm just gonna just jump right in and get going here. Um, only because being out at night um, in this particular mod pack is a, a real nightmare, especially with um, infernal mobs when you never know what you're going to be coming up against. So I'm just going to grab some wood here real quick. Um, yeah, so this mod pack has got so much stuff in it. Um, you know, we, we've got uh, Galactic Craft in here, so we're going to be going to space. Um, We've got, what else? We, uh, so many other things. The Mistcrafts in here so we can create our own worlds. Um, you know, applied energistics, big reactors. Um, so we can do a lot of uh, um, electronics or um, electrical crafting and things like that. Let's, let's put it up there. So let's just quickly get um, some tools going here. Going to need a workbench real fast. Oh yeah, we got T-Construct installed in here, which is awesome, so we can make some good uh, weapons and armor, or sorry, weapons anyway, um, and equipment. Alright, so let's just get some stone here. Dun, dun, dun. So, while um, um, Underground Biomes adds all of this new stone and stuff, you can still use any uh, of this type of, like, granite cobble to uh, um, make all your weapons and stuff with. It'll make furnaces, everything. So all the, uh, the um, al almost all of the stone, anything that drops uh, cobblestone, they, it'll work just like regular cobblestone. So don't have to worry about that. Let's just grab some more of this real quick. Um, so our first goal is going to be finding a place that we can call our starting base. Um, and the reason why I call it starting base, um, more than likely we're not going to be staying there for very long because we're going to be searching around for a, uh, a better place to live. Um, with Mistcraft what we're going to end up doing is um, creating a, something that I call a transfer world. Um, it's basically just a, a quick uh, world generation that all we're going to do is set up a, basically a house or a fortress there or something and then use that as a zone to transfer back to different places in this world. Um, so let's just ditch these for now and quickly make ourselves a set of stone tools instead of the wood. So we're going to need an axe. As you can see the granite works just the same as regular uh, regular cobblestone. So we'll do this. Let's make ourselves a sword too. Um, normally I don't make a stone sword, I just use the axe, but you never know. I'm not really happy with my start location here, so I'm going to have to you know, work a little bit harder to find a good place to start here, a good place to live. So let's just grab that little extra bit of wood. Um, we're also going to need to find some food here. Oh, speaking of which, can grab these. A couple of quick berries. Um, obviously not going to last too long for us. But there's so many mods. Uh, Pam's Harvest Crafts in this. Um, so all different kinds of food. Um, biomes are plenty. Obviously as you can see the, diff the different biomes here. It's kind of an interesting world, Jen. Um, let's have a quick look at the map here to see where we are. Okay, so there is a meteor crash site there. There's desert off to the east here with a graveyard and a graveyard here, it looks like. Let's go down to the meteor crash site. Um, only because I want to get out of these trees. So we're going to head south. Um, I don't like being in heavily forested areas at the start. 
Um, yes, you have a lot of resources, but it's also harder to uh, spot mobs. You can get jumped by creepers and things like that in here without too much of a problem. That was a hobgoblin we just passed from Thomcraft. And there's a couple more there. Um, let's pick up these. So there's tons of different trees in here too. We've got... Um, um, oh, good cows. We've got um, uh, forestry from Minecraft, so we can get into beekeeping. Um, which if you've never used it, you can get some pretty good resources out of the bees. Um, we've got uh, magical crops, which I always like to get into. The hats mod, as we can, as you see, we just <laughs> unlocked a hat. Um, so we got funky hats. I want to try and get uh, at least eight um, leather so I can make a backpack. Let's grab some chicken here. We got the necromancy mod, as you can see, I just picked up a heart. So we can uh, build our own automatons, or whatever you want to call them. Our own zombies or constructs, or necromantic creations. So let's ditch the heart. We don't need it right now. We don't need the mandrake. Uh, we can keep this stuff, though. Um, now let's see if we can find any metals down here at all, or coal or anything. Doesn't look like it. But we're going to be using all of this lava here, eventually for tea construct and stuff. Oh, there's some aluminium. Oh, coal, finally, good. So let's grab the coal. We're going to need that for, for torches. We don't need it for torches, but we'll use it for torches and some first fuel. So normally what I'd like to do, oh, is this clay? It is clay. I'm going to need that at some point, but not right now. I'll leave the aluminum too right now because we're not going to need that right away. Uh, perfect sheep. We can get some wool here to make a bed. Let's make uh, some shears rather than killing these sheep. Um, really quick and we'll just shear some uh, wool off them. So now we don't have to worry about too much. Perfect three. We don't really have to worry too much about uh, finding a place to stay for the night because now we can just sleep anywhere with this bed. Perfect. Although I wonder if we can find some uh, some metals over here. Ultimately I guess I should be looking for more cows. Try and get a backpack to start with. So some of this uh, some of the under the stone from the underground biome mods um, generates really nice uh, brick and stuff for making your home with. Uh, let's grab some more coal over here. Um, so that's kind of cool. I know the uh, chisel mod, which is in here as well, um, added a bunch of different types of brick types for regular stone and all that. But um, I was okay. I was okay with it. Um, I kind of like the chisel mod, but. Um, the variety of colors and stuff, I think, with the Underground Biomes mod uh, is just a little better, I think. Let's just do this here real quick. I think the sun is starting to actually go down. So I think what we'll probably do... Yeah, it is. We're going to camp here for the night. Let's put our bed right here, and we'll just sleep for tonight. Then we'll check out these caves around here, see what else is here. Then we'll have a look at the map and see if we can find a better place to stay. Uh, let's knock this out. There's some copper. Good. I like having copper and tin to start, um, only because I like making bronze armor. Um, bronze armor is a little tougher than iron armor, so if you can find it at the top or off the top here, it's better to to get it now. Don't need that. Ah, good. Some more. More copper, the better. See, this could be kind of like a nice little house here. You could just build right in here if you wanted to, but we're going to move on. We really want to find some more cows. So once we get out here a little bit, 
Let's have a quick look at the map here. So we can go southeast. Looks like there's some colored clay over here. Maybe we should go and check out these uh, graveyards here. Let's swoop down southeast a little bit, see what we have down here, and make our way up maybe to the graveyard if there's nothing else down here. So that was a Thomcraft uh, totem there. It's got a uh, sinister note in it, so at nighttime it'll start spawning more zombies and stuff. Oh yeah, we've also got Batania. Batania in this, as you can see from the, uh, the flowers here, so we'll be getting into some Batania later on too. Really, I mean, with Batania, with uh, forestry for Minecrafts and for Minecraft and um, uh, magical crops, you really, I mean, you can do one or the other, and you can do all three if you wanted to. But it's, I mean, it's just really overkill. They all kind of do the, roughly the same thing. Um, my preference is magical crops because you can, with uh, Ender IO, which we have installed here. Uh, we can actually set up auto farms and it'll auto farm all the essences so all we have to do is turn them into what we need them like either ender pearls or iron or whatever we decide crops to, to we decide to grow with uh, the beekeeping I mean you really have to you know cross cross uh, breed a lot of bees and stuff and get that working I mean you can automate that as well but I just find the uh, um, magical crops a little better for it Okay, let's see here. Let's have a look at the map again. Oh, yeah, sorry, industrial craft is in this too. So if we look on the map over here, you can see this little automaton over here. That's actually a mini boss now. So uh, let's actually go over there and just check, check them out real quick. But there's a little mini boss fight. The uh, automaton will come to life. And that's how you get your industrial craft pieces now. I haven't used industrial craft all that much, so I'm not really that familiar with it, but. Um, I have fought one of those in another uh, game I played, so um, it's kind of a cool battle, and it's difficult too, which is nice. So, and I'm not the best at uh, you know doing boss battles like that, so it's for me it's fun. It's just tough and fun. All right, now do we have enough for? We do have enough. Okay, we got enough. Uh, let's just make a backpack real quick here. So we got enough leather here. We can make a backpack. We have the backpack mods installed, of course. And we'll just drop some stuff in here that we don't need right now. And let's just put the copper in there. I'm gonna need to find some more food. Oh, there's an experience. There we go. Don't want to leave the experience behind. Alright, oh, there we go. So this is from Pam's Harvest Craft, right? We just picked up a bunch of uh, stuff to eat, but we can't, we're not going to eat the pumpkin, we're just going to leave it here. Ooh, is there any, uh, nothing. Hoping for some kind of metal or something. But yeah, here's this uh, industrial craft um, automaton, or whatever you want to call them, cyclops, or what do they call these things? Colossuses. So that little brick there you gotta break that once you do that it kinda comes to life and that brick sort of changes its location and you have to break it a bunch of times as uh, each time you break it it changes and you gotta break it more and more while this guy's moving around trying to kill you his arms move his legs move so trying to get up on top of him to try to break that block it can be really really difficult so yeah we're gonna have some fun with that later on alright let's make our way across the desert here This is a relatively new biome, and um, biomes are plenty as well. It's kind of nice. What do they call this one now? Oops. It is called Xeric Shrubland. Oh, whatever that is. Sure. Sure. Alright, now I think that graveyard should just be up here. There it is. All right, nice. So what we're going to do uh, with the graveyard is we're going to obviously loot the, uh, the chest inside. Oh, nine gold, nice. I always have 
difficulty finding gold. So I'm going to take that. I'm actually going to take this chest too. And I'm also going to go up on top here and grab the redstone. So I'm hoping, if we're lucky, we'll find... Um, hoping to find um, uh, charged certus quartz early on and some nether quartz and some chests because um, I want to try and make the uh, um, ME system as soon as I possibly can. All right, and the reason why I'm grabbing these is I want to make uh, a couple things out of them. They're good for they're good for machine chassis for Ender IO, uh, but they're also good for tanks, storage tanks, which I can store lava in. Um, and I need four of these per storage tank and four per uh, machine chassis, so I'm just going to grab twelve. So I'll have enough for one storage tank and two machine chassis. That way I don't waste any of my iron because 12 is 6 iron or sorry 16 is 6 iron but 12 is you know whatever would end up well still the same so let's have a look at the map here alright so not much is another uh, meteor crash site over here it's good to know Ooh, uh, this meteor site here that's got iron in it so let's go back there we'll grab the iron from there um, and then I think we're going to have to kind of find a uh, I don't want to be too far from the spawn, um, but we have to find kind of an area that we can um, set up our first house. Now we don't have to stay there forever. Like I said, once we get the transfer node from Miscraft running, um, we can transfer all over the all over the uh, surface world here, so we don't have to worry too much about it. All right, let's just do this and this. We don't really need the Nether Act. We'll come back and get it, but uh, we're going to leave it there. We are going to grab the iron. So underground biomes, I mean, it for the basic metals, they've added new textures for each of them, which is kind of cool. So we're going to need a couple of these guys to block up the lava. So we can get in here and get the rest of this iron. I think you can get up to 10 pieces of iron from here, which is kind of cool. See, certainly beats having to uh, mine all over the place for it. So we can put one here and here to get rid of those. There's two iron up here. Get rid of this lava and this lava. And then we'll grab the iron from here. So that's how much now? Five, six. This one is seven. There was one more back at the front is eight. And I think the last two are down in the lava down here. Got to be careful I don't fall in here. Okay, so where else is the... That one? That one? That one? Hmm. I don't know if that's all the lava now. No, nope, there's another one there. So that's going away. Cool. So here's another iron. So that's eight, if I'm correct, right? Yeah, eight. The nine is up here. The sun's starting to go down again. And where is the last one? Is it down here somewhere? I think it's down here somewhere. There it is. It's blocked by this piece here. Ten. Nice. So we don't need the soul sand. We're going to leave that here right now. We'll need it later on, but not right now. Yeah, sun's going down, so let's just camp here for the night. Have a look at the map again. Um, 
rather than going all the way back over here, I think what we'll do is we'll go and check out this hill over here. See what's there. And... Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. Looks like there's a lot of flat area, flat open areas down here, so hopefully that'll be the same up here. Find out in a few minutes here. Actually, let's make uh, let's take the flower here and we're going to change the color of our backpack. And why? Because we can. Let's put our stuff in here. Sleep for the night. Now the things we do need for Mistcraft, we pretty much have already with the exception of ink. We're going to need ink. We've got these for paper. And then we're going to need to find some squids here. Which I'm sure we can find in the river up here. They're always there. 18, so that's enough paper. We have feathers, so we're good. We're good there. And nothing there. Oh, okay. So there's a there's a uh, Thomcraft node with crimson knights around it. There's four wizards there, and they summon these knights. And I am not going over there because they will just murder me. That is a mission for diamond armor, which we won't have yet. And there is a redwood forest biome. So, I mean, we could build our fort in the mountains here. And there's some squids. Cool. So we're going to need at least, mm, I don't know, maybe eight or so ink to start. We need two for our first book. And then we need two more. Two, four, maybe... So we're going to need about ten or twelve ink. Hmm. Kind of getting ripped off there. Usually there's like eight of them. Alright, what's in here? Anything? Besides a, you know, baby zombie. I see you there, buddy. You got armor on too. I'm not fighting you. Forget it. Don't know whether you just didn't see me or just decided not to attack. I don't know, whatever. And this is from... Dun dun dun! Witchery. So the witchery mod's in here too. So we can get into some kind of witchcraft. Do some summoning circles and stuff. So steel shears. Let's take those. Get rid of the stone ones. Don't need track. Don't need Chris at all. We can just leave that stuff there. But the three string is good because we can at least make a fishing rod or we can make a bow if we manage to find a half decent amount of food here. I know I've been saying that, but I mean, I got like steak and stuff I can eat at any point once we cook it up. So, for me, the hardest part is always finding a place to start. Um, so there is mountains. Maybe we go... I want to stay in the Redwood Forest. I want to go somewhere where there's not a lot of trees, so during the day we don't have a lot of spawns on the overworld. So maybe let's just go, um, hmm. let's go around the hill here, or the big mountain, see where it comes out on the other side. It looks like it was flat south of here, so let's see if it's flat behind here or if it just becomes more mountains. Hmm. Looks like it flattens out a bit back there. Let's go check it out. Also, too, I mean, I like using Mistcrap to be able to travel um, around the uh, world. Because if you find cool places that you want, like, you know, you, you figure, oh, this would be cool for a house or that would be cool for a house, you just build one there, you know? It doesn't limit your building to just the area that you start in. And then it makes it easy to get there too, like you just, you know, oh I want to go to my other house, you just transfer there. It only takes a couple seconds to do that. So it kind of makes you feel like they're all connected. Ok, 
Okay, how much we ink do we have here? Almost enough. Better not drown though. Okay, I'm gonna worry about the clay later. Well, yeah, I think I'll worry about the clay later. Don't need the brains. Uh, we got 13. That should be enough. We're gonna need clay. We're gonna need sand. And we're gonna need gravel to make ourselves a. Uh, let's just grab it while we're here to make ourselves a smeltery in order to make better tools from T Construct. There's lots of clay here, so I mean, there's no reason why we can't just quickly grab it as we're going along. But we're going to need at least, you know, two stacks of each of uh, clay, gravel, and um, and sand. So getting it now is saving time later on. Usually the gravel you can get uh, you can get um, underground while you're mining um, and sand is just easy you just go into the desert and it's easy to pick up um, don't need the dirt so we've got almost two stacks we can easily find a bit more here we're also going to need clay for thumb craft and a few other things as well but we don't need it all right now don't need these not yet anyway there's tons of seeds so I mean Let's get a couple more. There we go. And a little bit more paper. So these make paper, obviously. Okay. Hmm. There's a little house over there. I think that's a um, a witchery house, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it. Usually you find witches and stuff in here. Yeah, witchery witches. Oh, thank you for the bread. Uh, here, I'll tell you what. I'll give you one cu cucumber for four breads. Thank you. Thank you so much. Goodbye. No complaints, so I'm assuming that they, they were okay with that trade. Alright. So these are tea construct gravel, copper, tin, iron, aluminum, and gold can be found on the surface which is nice, so I don't have to go digging for a lot of it. Oh, there's a village. How about we start off there? Looks like we got a little bit of a start of a mine over here we can actually go down and get some stuff from. So let's go down here quick. We're going to pick up the osmium that's down here because we want osmium for tools. It makes really great tools. And some iron here. Grab that real quick. Nice. Some more copper. And I hear a zombie. And I see a zombie on the map. Apparently he can't see me, so that's all that matters. So yeah, this is almost it for the first episode. We're going to go to the village, I think, and we'll find a place to live there. I'm going to build a house. We're not going to steal anybody's house. We'll end up building a house there, but um, just got to figure out where that's going to go. We'll come back here and do some more mining in the next episode. And it looks like this this is iron here too. Well, that's not, but this is. So it looks like we're going to be making a lot of iron tools and stuff to start with. Siltstone. Don't really need siltstone. And there's more iron. Okay, this is actually becoming a pretty fruitful place to uh, start here. More iron. Usually don't find this much iron to start with. And I don't need these. And more iron. And there's gravel here, and it looks like a start of a good mine mine shaft down there, and more copper. What we need to do is find tin now. We can make ourselves some bronze armor to start with. I'll be happy. Whoa! Gotta be careful of that. 
not falling any more holes. I've taken a few spills spills down some deep holes and uh, died on the way down, or died at the bottom anyway. Um, looks like there's a T-construct building here. Let's see if we can make. I like it when we find obsidian pickaxe heads in here, because then you can make an obsidian pickaxe, which then allows you to mine obsidian early on, which is just great. So this guy looks like he's trapped. Oh. Trade with the villagers? Nope. Let's fix your house here, buddy. What have you been doing? And that's the guards killing the, uh... Yeah, nothing to make tools out up here. That's the guards killing the, uh... Hobgoblins outside. Flint sword blade. We can use that. And wide guard. Let's grab that. The flint sword blade. And then we just need to make a stone tool rod. Do we have tool rod patterns here? Sword blade? Hmm. Well, nighttime's coming. Let's just sleep here for the night. We're going to need to make some tool rod patterns. So let's make some patterns here. Yeah, man, kill those hobgoblins. I find them annoying. They'll actually um, kill the villagers. Oops, not here either. It's here I want it. Right there. Alright, let's just go to sleep. There's plenty of guards in this town too. I'm not really worried. Looks like it's a pretty big town. Um, some of the towns actually have walls and stuff built up around them. So let's grab... Tool rod pattern. That guy's getting owned out there. And we'll make a stone tool rod. Put that in here. And then we're going to make a sword. Broad sword, I believe it is. Yep. Let's see how good this sword is. Wow, Durbly 102. That's it. Plus six attack damage. We got five and a half with this one. Repair material flint. Ah, sure, why not? Not using it all that much right now, so I might as well just get rid of that one. Hey, what's up? That's a pretty good trade. Yeah. Oh, Certus Quartz, nice. I just gotta find someone to trade some shiz with here. Uh, I'm not gonna, I don't have anything to trade anyway. Come on, guys, kill all these hobgoblins. Where are the other guards? Hmm. So I think we'll make our house here to start. And eventually, what we'll do is we'll get rid of all these hobgoblins. And we'll, uh, I don't really want to do this, but I'm going to, I'm going to loot this town. Nice Thamalamacon. Take that. Nice skeleton skull. Some glass bottles. Some glowstone. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of this in the town, but we're going to build a house here and help these guys, so don't feel that guilty about it. And it looks like they've got a few caves under the town, too. Lo too many hobgoblins here. Ooh. Free emerald. Now maybe we can start trading with some people here. We'll do that next episode. We'll try and see if we can get some trades going. But let's figure out where we want to stay for now. So that's a uh, windmill. This is the... Oh, you guys can't get out of here. Let me help. There you go. Coal coke. This is the railcraft building. So we have railcraft installed. Hooray, we can make railways. Um, graveyard for... You can't get out of there either, can you guys? There you go. So this is the graveyard for... Um, 
How did you drop that? That's the graveyard for um, uh, necromancy. I was hoping to find a miscraft house in here. I don't seem to see one anywhere. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm guessing this will be it for today. I don't know where we're going to put our house in this town. Most likely on the edge of town, maybe down by the water. Looks like they might have a uh, the start of a uh, of a smeltery down here. They do. Cool. So I don't have to build so much for the smeltery. And that guy's trapped in there. Dude, what's up? Feel free to leave there anytime you want. Anytime you want. Or not. What do you got? Anything? Nothing. You want iron? And look at these holes. Man, I'm going to have to like, spend some time fixing this village up. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Abandoned building. I think this is actually two towns stuck together. Look at this. I'm not sure what um, mod actually adds this building here. But it's a nice place to start. It's got a little bit of coal. It's got some furnaces. It's got a little chest up here with some dark steel, some tin. Oh, good. Some copper. Oh, nice. Bronze leggings. Steel shovel. Let's get rid of that one. Actually, we're going to be chopping that down. Our first enchanted scroll. So the uh, advanced um, um, enchantment system is in this. So when you make an enchanting table, you can make an advanced table and actually choose your enchantments rather than randomly uh, getting allocated. But in order to do that, you need to find the scrolls for each of the enchantments that you plan on using. So you have to like basically search the world to get them all. It can be a bit of a pain in the ass, but in the long run, it's actually, it's actually uh, a really good thing. All right, so let's take these two down and the chest down. And uh, we'll drop our stuff in the chest here, and then we'll call it for this time. This will be the end of the first episode. When we come back the next time, um, what we're going to do is we're going to get started on T-Construct right away, I think. I think more so than anything, that's one of the things that we need to really have going. Um, I want to get some better tools. Hopefully be able to make a little bit of armor. It looks like we've got a little bit of tin now, so we can make a few pieces of armor. Um, we've got bronze leggings, um, which we'll actually put on now in a second here. Uh, where are they here? Here we go. Put these guys on. So you can see there where it says glancing, plus two protection versus projectiles. That's added by the Lord of the Rings mod. So there's a few other little modifications you can get. So let's just drop this thing down. Are you going to be my personal guard, buddy? Probably not. Ah, oh, one for one. Got one emerald. I know it's... Uh, I'm not going to bother. Oh, wait till next time. It's kind of a rip-off deal, one for one. But, uh, yeah. So let's just quickly make another w stone pickaxe here. And get rid of this last piece of... There we go. Alright. So until next time... Cool.